Karen spoke with police and locals on how the chase was handled. Karen? Steve, that pursuit ended right here near Milford, right along Route 1 where I'm, I'm standing, but not after a 70 mile cat and mouse game with police. Now this pursuit is spurring debate once again over police pursuits and safety. Some say police might have been too excessive in that pursuit. No, others say officers did what they had to do. It was like a scene from a Hollywood movie. A high-speed chase through eastern Sussex County. Here's video sent to us from a news watcher. It shows Vasquez crossing an intersection and driving in the wrong direction in Dewey Beach. All in all, police officers chased him for almost two hours through multiple towns. And that has some people questioning whether police should have hit the brakes and stopped the pursuit. They could have killed people by chasing him. Like you say, he had the helicopter up there. They had his license plate. Let him go. Get home and then go get it. Others say he had to be caught. I, I would think that, you know, they did the best to their abilities and did what they thought was best. Lieutenant Edward Huey with the Milford Police Department says there are protocols officers must follow during pursuits. Those include a number of considerations, ones that must be made almost immediately. The weather, the traffic uh, conditions, the wet, uh, road conditions, the conditions of uh, the, the suspect vehicle's car, um, the that driver's abilities. Huey says ultimately it's up to the officer to decide what's best during a chase. The goal is to catch the vehicle like what happened here, but to make sure no one gets hurt along the way. And Huey says most of the police departments in Delaware follow a model policy. That policy was adopted by the Delaware Police Chiefs Foundation. Reporting live tonight in Sussex County, Karen Campbell, WBOC News, Milford.